Hey everybody, this is Josh Sove, aka Ask Joshy on YouTube, and today I want to give a shout out to my new buddy and partner in crime, Cy Starcraft. I want to thank him big time for putting up that video uh, talking about my collector's edition giveaway, which if you haven't seen yet, it's there's a video in my channel that you can look at and get all the details for that. But uh, again, Cy Starcraft, you're the man. If you guys aren't already subscribed to him, he does uh, first-person commentaries most of the time, but he's also done a couple of games with other people, and he's beaten some uh, pretty big names on his channel, and he's a very good Zerg player. He's probably one of the only good Zerg players commentating anything right now, stream or YouTube, so please go check him out. That channel is right here. All you have to do is click on that uh, video there. And I'm also going to start putting links in my video descriptions. There's also a link on my channel for you to get to him. So please uh, check him out. And thanks a lot for um, subscribing if you just subscribed. And now we're going to have a game between Inca and Kawaii Rice. Hey everybody, this is Josh Sev, a.k.a. Ask Joshy on YouTube, and today I'm bringing you a match between Kawaii Rice of Team Fnatic and Inca of Team Evil Geniuses, and this game is being played for the Lickitung Monthly Tournament, being sponsored by Lickitung himself. He's going to provide $100 to the winner of the tournament for the players to split among themselves, and he's doing that you know, just because he loves the game and really likes to see games casted. He is an avid stream watcher for um, IC Cup, which I commentate for at live stream com slash IC Cup, as well as, you know, the community in general. So Kawaii Rice spawning as the yellow Terran down at the bottom right corner, and Inca as the light blue or teal. I always say light blue just out of habit, but I guess it is technically teal. Light blue, Protoss in the top right, and the map is Kulas Ravine, so there are these um, other two spawning points that either player could have drawn. The fact that they're on the same side of the map actually changes their strategies quite a bit. If they had spawned in close flying distances right here, this ledge becomes huge. And breaking these rocks is very common to try and defend your side of the map from any kind of natural harassment or natural expansion harassment. And But the fact that they're going to be so long across from each other um, can change things up drastically. Either one of these players could expand over here at the high yield over on the left side of the map instead of trying to take the one between as it is going to be more prone. Even this uh, sort of third option here is not going to be defended too easily because there are destructible rocks there. So Kawaii Rice starting with the standard build, Supply Depot into Barracks, of course. And he's probably going to get an Orbital Command right after. He does drop gas before his Barracks is even finished, so that could be indicative of early um, Reaper or Marauder play. Inca is going to send his probe the wrong way first, too bad for him. And he is going to start building a gateway and a assimilator right away. So probably going to be seeing um, not too many zealots. Probably just a quick stalker, and either going you know something like probably not four gate, but probably involving a robo bay. I'm not sure how well void rays actually fare on this map, especially with these long spawns, these far away spawn points. So. Uh, he is going to choose to build that Cybernetics Core right away, and then from there he can either start a second gateway right here, or another robotics, or not another robotics facility, but the first robotics facility. And Kwai Rice's Orbital Command is finishing up. He is building that second gas, so we'll likely be seeing a factory here any moment. Yep, there it is. He's not yet built an add on. He is going to build just one Marine to uh, stand guard in case of any early zealots but uh, most likely going to be building either a reactor or a tech lab sometime soon so he can switch these around. Looks like he's not going to be going too infantry heavy or he would have built another barracks most likely. He is going to get that reactor started. Inca's probe is going to get here too late to be able to get in. I really like this wall off. It's just one supply depot and one barracks, but it's an effective wall off with a minimal amount of buildings. I like it. So Kawaii Rice holding off that probe with just one unit. Uh, Kawaii Rice instead going to see everything in Inca's base. He sees the two gas, sees the cybernetics core, there's no zealot out to fend it off, and Inca is going to send his stalker down there right away just to keep some tabs. Uh, the probe is going to take this watchtower to start, so he's going to have all that vision there to see if Kawaii Rice pushes out of his base. It looks like he is getting a starport here, so Vikings very powerful on this map. Um, they've got a lot of room to harass and things like that. 
like I said with the naturals earlier, he could just land the Vikings over on that cliff and really mess with his opponent. And did he land that in a weird spot, or is that just me? I think he might be okay. It's always kind of hard to tell sometimes. Let's see if this starport can land on that tech lab or not. And the factory is building a tech lab. Stalker is, you know, just taking a couple of shots over on this supply depot. Quiet Rice could be moving up here and taking out the Stalker, but instead he's just going to keep moving around his buildings. Looks like he was okay. I was mistaken. So uh, now he's got a starport with a tech lab, two gas. He's going to have to do call down supply. He supply boxed himself. Wow, using energy for call down supply this early in the game. He's got to feel kind of silly for that. Oh, it's because he lost the supply depot up here. Wow. Instead of uh, trying to hold off the stalkers with just his three marines, he's building more and more, um, cranking them out, cranking them out reactor style, so that he can hold off two instead of just one. And these two are going to pop out during the fight, so he should be just fine holding off these two stalkers. The fact that Inca got any damage done there is huge for him, as now he's got five stalkers and a sentry moving in. <coughs> There's a tank out now on the field for Kawaii Rice, as well as a Raven building. Really fast Raven. That's interesting. He's going to be able to drop point defense drones against these Stalkers. But uh, looks like Inca's mopping up right now. He's going to lose this one Stalker. No, he keeps it with one health. Lucky break for Inca. I cannot believe that. Kawaii Rice is going to need another tank. This Raven might be forced. Oh, wow. Kawaii Rice really not in good shape now. There's so many Stalkers on the field. He says, sorry, LOL, GG. So... It looks like we are going to see a 2v2 game up next between Team EG and Team Fnatic.